These are the top 15 best Minecraft life hacks that you need. The first Minecraft life hack has to do with buried treasure. Normally when you get buried treasure, you mine a massive amount of sand and can end up never even finding the buried treasure. So get rid of that map. Once you're in the rough area, if you go to your coordinates menu and then look at the block, those two numbers there on the outside, once they line up to 9 and 9, it will always be the buried treasure below you. So get buried treasure first time every try. Now, when you're underwater and you're about to run out of air, don't fear. If you have a water bucket, spam it against a block and it creates an air bubble in front of you which you can regain air before safely swimming to the surface. In our next trick, where is a water bucket not so useful? In the nether. Instead, use a powdered snow bucket, which you can actually still land clutches with in the nether, and it's reusable. Although, to land these clutches, you do still need to be able to land the clutch. Normally to cure a zombie villager, you throw a splash potion of weakness and then give it a golden apple, and then it gives you a normal villager. But the splash potion of weakness is really hard to get. So instead, enchant a crossbow with piercing four. Fletchers can sometimes trade an arrow of weakness for their final trade. With this piercing four crossbow, go up to a road of zombified villagers and shoot straight through them all. Next, apply the golden apple and it has given them effect. Then you can even collect the arrow afterwards to use again. Pretty soon, your three zombified villagers will have turned into three ready to trade perfect villagers. Our next Minecraft life hack, look at this, it's a subscribe button. Scroll down your page and check if you're subscribed. It's completely free, but it helps me out a lot. So please consider it, thanks. Our next life hack is when you're mining, always place a torch in front of you in case there's gravel ahead of you. This torch breaks all the gravel there, keeping you perfectly safe from suffocation. Wow, that's a lot of gravel. Next trick involves concrete powder and signs. Once you break this one sign, all the concrete powder falls. This is both satisfying and amazing. And you can drop concrete powder onto anything from a high area. Next, place water on all of it and then get rid of it and turn the concrete powder into terracotta and clay. Next hack is the string duper. This farm is so incredible and gives you heaps and heaps of string at a really cheap price. You can then trade this string into infinite emeralds to get anything you desire. And then onto our next trick. Trading like that is really slow, but that was a lot faster. How I did it was I hold spacebar and shift while getting the emeralds. This makes it so much quicker to trade for your emeralds. Then with the rest of the string, you can make this string into wool. This wool can then be turned into heaps of beds for netherite mining. Now in the nether, most people know about the right height to mine netherite at, which is why 14, 15, or 16. But what most people don't know is that when you press Fn, F3, and G, or F3 and G on non-Mac, then your chunk borders are shown. Now chunk borders shows where the edge of the Minecraft chunk is, and the edge of the chunk is the best spot to mine netherite, so you can get heaps of ancient debris. This is an infinite lava farm. Pretty much lava source blocks are on top of dripstone that drip that down into cauldrons below. This can pretty easily and quickly give you infinite lava for all your furnace needs. Our next life hack involves the best way to mine wood. If you place down four spruce saplings and then bone meal them, it makes a massive tree. And if you can repeat this process right next to the other tree, in the end, making up a massive block of wood that you can mine. Look how much wood is here. You can mine this all and trade it to the Fletcher villager for heaps of emeralds. And it's also the best way to get wood for anything else. For the next life hack, when you have a Riptide 3 trident, you can propel yourself through water. When it's raining, this is especially powerful, but when you combine it with an elytra, it reaches new levels. 
Look at how fast and efficiently you can travel. This is fantastic. But what's even cooler is that you don't need an elytra to do it. If you're careful, you can fly through the air, timing your jumps so that you can fly without an elytra. But if you're not careful, Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed learning the best 15 Minecraft life hacks. Please subscribe, it would help me a lot. See ya.